What about you? Fucking. All right. What's up? What's what your final show? thoughts? Oh, I had a. Blast. Yeah, Mike, so sure, I know. had a blast. I know I had a we bunch of there, telling me to get on the mic. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't get mad at me. You should. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. But I had I had a blast no, noticing how much men hates us. I did not know <laughs> men hate women <laughs> that much. You know. Yeah, your grammar is incredible. Um, your grammar is incredible, by the way. Oh uh, yeah, it's no, okay. No. I'm sorry that I speak so I'm many dead. different languages. My English is not that great, but I'll give you what no, I can. I appreciate. It. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, two new like words. How, how do men hate women? <laughs> oh. By your accord, how do oh, men hate women? Oh, you guys hate us. Oh my goodness. Why you guys hate us so bad? How, how do they? Everything we say is wrong. That? How's Everything that? is we can't we can't be feminists, we can't be whores, we can't be nuns, we can't be nothing. All we can be is just be, you know. Checklist, just be a make a statue. Type a checklist in the chat of what your woman needs. Yeah, like just like how you say what what do a woman bring to a table? Honestly, when I think about my future in my life, I never think of another person in my future. Mm, I oh. think about myself and what I want for myself. If another person want to add themselves to my dream and what I want, then that's up to them. You're a narcissist. Oh, yes, I will say that then. If that's what you think, then yeah. I mean, that is like textbook narcissism. Why is that narcissist? If I see myself in my future and I'm not, that's being selfish when you're thinking of your future and you're adding someone else in it and you didn't How's even agree selfish? to it. Yes, it is. It's selfish. It's very much so selfish. It's the I think it's the opposite, opposite, yeah. Opposite. You, you, it's you're, selfish. You're, I mean, selfless. I'll just be honest here. You're pretty dumb, and you're a narcissist. That's not dumb. I'm sorry. No, no. it's not. Yes. I, I just got to give it to you straight. No, um, it's not, because you're thinking about your future, and then you, you're, it's called your future. What me, do you want me, for let yourself? Me, let me, uh, let me, exp let me uh, go ahead and rationalize why I came to that conclusion. Go You've ahead. exercised an inability to critical think, answer mm. questions concisely, mm -hmm. articulate yourself. You mm -hmm. can't really debate any points, and everything that we ask you, especially when we preface the question with, in general, what do you think, you always attribute it back to yourself. You're a narcissist and you're lower IQ. Not really, because in general, it's for everybody. And I'm answering for myself. I'm sorry to tell you this. I cannot think for everyone else. I'm thinking for Chris. So you like I'm thinking for thinking myself. Skills, no, it's not critical thinking skill. It's, think, you it's love thinking yourself. for myself. You love I'm, yourself. Thank you. I'm thinking for myself. I cannot so answer for someone skills. else. Oh, my God. You, can't you see what I mean by they hate women, they hate us. Mm. Nothing we say is correct. Because whatever you're saying, I hear you and I understand your views of what you're saying. But you're not understanding my view. How is telling you the truth hating you? Because at the end of the day, you're not trying to see my point of view. You're trying to see only yours. Oh, how about this? How about I understand your point of view? I've been listening intently. I've been actually taking notes the whole time when you've been speaking. That's mm -hmm. why I'm able to I, come oh, to this I conclusion. I see that, and I'm like, really, oh. I'm like, yeah, that's professional so, as oh, fuck. So wouldn't that be fair to say that not only am I listening to you, but I'm understanding your point, which is why I'm able to refute it in the first place, then tell you, hey, you lack critical thinking skills. No, because at the end of the day, just, that's your opinion. Everybody have their own opinion. I think like it's you pretty much earlier. a fact through the course of this podcast that you lack critical thinking skills. No, because earlier, even like by you your own said, admission, just literally ten seconds ago, saying that I'm speaking for myself and I can't think in general. I never said those words, but okay. Did you not just say that literally like 30, 40 seconds ago? Oh, you're talking about me. What yes. I say for myself. Oh, yeah, I did say that. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. I, we wish you the best. Yo, bro. <laughs> you don't have to wish me the bro. best. I have the oh, best. Oh, God. No, genuinely, I wish you the best. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm respectfully telling you that you're not intelligent, which is fine. You don't have to be intelligent. You're a female. It's fine. You can make it far in life. You clearly have. But, I, God damn, bro. If you were a dude, you, life would be really hard for but you. But does it make you feel better that you have to bully each and every one of us at this table by telling us we lack critical thinking or no, we're dumb? No, I'm telling you, you lack like critical female. thinking skills especially. No, but you went in on shorty one and shorty two over there before you went in on my well, ass. Well, she literally couldn't articulate any of her points. I challenged her points, and then she said the default, I'm tired. But let's be honest, though. Some people on the table were actually not even having their own opinion. They were agreeing with other people just to agree, just to not get, you know, trampled over what? by you. What? You guys all agreed on a bunch of things. Some people did not have their own mindset. I don't think you noticed this, but I the people who were genuinely answering their questions. Fallon had valid points. Her answers were always her own and always valid. She had her own answers and her own points words. Then? Everything that she said was basically her own her own mindset and her own point of view. She said that 
at the end of the day, she's not a feminist, but she still believed that as a woman, we should carry ourselves in a better, in a better way. And I, myself, I told you as a woman, I don't think that every woman should see themselves in the same way as someone else sees themselves. Not everybody's going to be the same. Everybody's different. No one is going to have the same mindset. Nobody's going to have the same critical thinking. I'm sorry that you think that I lack critical thinking, but that's you. That's what you think. I think anyone with half a brain that watched this podcast throughout the course of the conversation can clearly tell that you lack critical thinking skills and you admitted that you lack critical thinking skills yourself. No, I never said that. Well, and I don't want to. I don't want to agree. Like literally two minutes ago. I don't want to agree to disagree. Like I said, that's what I you're said, doing right no, now. You're just I will never to agree disagree. to disagree. I am me, and I will always be me. And what I said is what I said. What you said, what you said. At the end of the day, with all the respect, you're pretty low IQ. No, uh, I'm you're, very, you're, no, very, you're very dumb. Very just there. be quiet. Just, no. th- that's fine. And here's the thing: no one's ever probably told you this before, but you're pretty stupid. No offense. I'm telling you to your face: you are pretty fucking dumb. But it's okay. Mm. You're a female. Your stripper, you can get your money, you can monetize your sexuality, which we mm-hmm. talked about before. It's cool, but you definitely lack IQ points. That's a fact at this point. And that's You're not just even able to comprehend what I'm telling you and give me right? a, a real response. You're denying things you said literally a minute but ago. We're we're having a conversation about your topic. This is your topic. This is what you want to talk about. You you're not talking to us about the things that we want to talk about. So how would you know we're lack of IQ if you don't know what we're talking like what we want to If you talk don't about? know then just don't talk about it. How about that? Or say, "You know what? I don't know." Or this is what I think. "Oh, you know what? I didn't know that. Actually, I'm wrong about that." I mean, she said she didn't know a few times. About what? About the questions you asked. Sometimes we did like, ask we didn't know when we Such didn't as? know. I mean, there was one question that she said that you asked her earlier and she said, I don't know. And you were like, okay, fair enough. And you moved on because she, like you said, right now, if you don't Do you know, then you don't know. Was? No, I don't. It was Off the something top of my regarding head. Um, women in the 40s or 50s and like whether or in not. In the future, they, in, they in, in the past. No, I know what it was. Way. It was, do you think women got more respect back in the 50s or now? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And she said, I don't know. So approved. And then I asked another pro- thought-provoking question. Were men more chivalrous back then? And she answered to the affirmative, yes. And then I said, okay, by definition, that means more respect. See, I'm playing on a different level than you fucking ladies. I'm writing down what y'all are saying. I'm listening very closely, etc. So I'm able to catch you in the stupidity of the things that you guys say. <clears throat> I'm listening very, very fucking close to everything you guys are saying. And I'm understanding it to come back with arguments. So, I mean, but why do you keep you get, on nitpicking her? Like, you already said your point. Like, it's like, okay, you're being stupid, but you keep like pressing on her buddy. No, like, no, because she continues to engage. Offense, and she continues to engage. No, you, no, no, because you're continuing to engage with me as if but, we're, as if like I'm wrong about something or that you're. But let's on be some honest, have ground. I ever disrespected you once when I was saying what I was saying? Because you said you disrespected me throughout the entire when I was making my point. It's the truth, you're dumb. No, I'm dumb. That's your opinion. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I agree with that. But no, that's almost a fact. So, I'm not offended. And I'm okay. not hurt, and I'm so, not but so, hurt by it. What I'm saying no, is that you are, you are. is there no, a way that you can communicate without having to you are, to you made the degrade comment. somebody? You made the comment. You made the comment mm-hmm. that y'all hate women. I said, okay, how so? And but then, hold did on. I say you hate women? But like y'all. Yeah, you said y'all. Yeah, in general. Oh, no, we both hate women. I on. say y'all as in like in general because everybody that was commenting on there, like she was saying before, were very disgusting. I never said you hated women. I never no, said you. Said you said y'all. I said y'all. I never y'all. knew how much men hated women. That was the word that came out of my mouth. And then I asked you, how so? And you're saying that under the context of being on our podcast. And I said, explain to me how that, how, how uh, men hate women. And you couldn't articulate it. Yeah, if you're smarter, I, you, you would said, you know what, beginning. not you, Mara in the Fresh. But ultimately. So you see. made a blanket statement. You're not able to substantiate your argument. Let's agree to disagree. No, we're not agreeing to disagree. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know we're what? Still in a fucking pool. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just oh saying, bro. Oh my god, like, dude! Like you're trying to th- put Yo. yourself out as an intellectual, but you're dumb as shit. Man. I'm not throwing myself out as an intellectual. I'm, I'm telling agree you to disagree or whatever. The you, when you're communicating, no, she's just reason. saying that right. I'm just saying you don't have to disrespect somebody by the way what they're saying He's to you. you. I'm telling answer, you the truth, man. Yeah, mm. if you were smart, you would have took that alley-hoop. But you sigue, you. tu sigue, like, you oh know, God. like, you keep getting Yo, you more upset. Oh, I'm not upset. I'm just saying my point. Like, just like... 
I just she gave you an out. You keep going. And your point doesn't make sense. I just gave her out. She keeps going. And your point doesn't make sense, man. You could call us whatever you want to call us, but you don't have to keep nitpicking over and over again. Hey, no, you keep going. That's dumb why. as hell. Your no. IQ is so low. Your IQ is low. That's fine. Being honest That's here. your perspective. He's not calling the whole, all of the girls. Like, so uh, uh, like, yeah, I'm just telling you you're dumb. Like, no. you're really dumb. <laughs> just so you know, like, I'm just like, that's what it is. Like, no, no. I'm just keeping a thousand with you. Like, you are dumb. Jonathan, I bet you're having a field day watching this right now. Who? Oh, the person who told me that I was not ready for this podcast. He was right. He was. That it goes right. Actually, he was right. You read a book before you came. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. damn Shout out to Don Marco, man. Don Marco, man. Hey. Yeah, he was. So you had, you had you had time to prepare and watch uh, a pot or two. Uh, know what we're gonna talk about, and you still came up here retarded uh, as fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you just say that we couldn't use the word retarded? Wow, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I'm not gonna lie, just, just talking stop, about nitpicking. She's nitpicking now. Talking about, about rules shit. I didn't even mention. I did. All right, we can move on, man. Because, oh, mm. bro, you we give her a way out, bro. This pot bubbling. Oof. Next one. Look at what you do. It hurt my brain cells, man. God damn, bro. God damn, man. Damn. This shit crazy. Holy shit. All right, Miss Cleopatra, what do you got to say? Save the female uh, gender. I think <laughs> that your Hope podcast was very professional. I'm grateful for the opportunity. I had fun. I had fun. I got attention in my outfit that I learned <laughs> not to dress like a hoe every freaking Halloween. My man you might want. go <laughs> kiss another man. <laughs> I don't understand that, but okay. I mean, just once a year. I'm just gonna say that it was was a good, it was good bouncing off of other people's like opinions and getting perspective. You're laughing about it, but nowadays that isn't too far fetched. I I, 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 I know. It's rough. Oh, it is rough out there. I it agree. Is, yeah. yeah. And you're right. Like, I miss my role toy. The gender that they're pushing <laughs> is, is very rough. Yes. Yeah, so. Especially when they're children. I agree, but we're not going to go there because that's a whole other topic. Yeah. What? Wait, what? can be real. A whole other topic about men kissing other men and the oh, agenda okay. that they're yeah. pushing on our children. And, uh, yeah, that's just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. no bueno. That's a whole other topic is yes. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, man. Oh. This was a uh, very um, this was special, man. high opening pod. <laughs> this was lit. Why is, it, why is it always the black queens, bro? I've been trying to help them and they don't get it, bro. Anyhow. <laughs> God damn, man. Well, guys, hope you